guys today we spectate a goaded squad and it's very rare we spectate random quads and run into a full team of players that know exactly what to do we're talking black sites we're talking advanced uavs multiple i think they threw up like four or five high kill games great strategy great teamwork and they even defeat a ratty ratty team at the end that just had me screaming and celebrating but guys i hope you enjoy the video if you do subscribe today drop a like on it 40 something percent of you guys are not subbed what are you doing Come on, guys. It's free. It's, it's literally free. You hit the sub button. It ain't like Twitch. You have to pay. Hit it. But let's dive into it. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be spectating Gator Bait and his squad. Now, quads is a beautiful mode to spectate. It's probably one of my favorites because it's so hectic. You watch people collapse almost every single fight, and uh, they, they tend to do some really funny things. So right now we have an enemy team doing the stronghold and oh, and instead of going towards our teammates, pushing it together, we're just gonna fly around in circles because after all, we're technically, I guess, playing Battlefield. We have a lot of separation from our homies and they look like they're about to go into a fight. So I really don't like this play. One, I don't think Gator has any weapons worth it. BASP is a great gun, not at range though. We need to go ahead and push up and help our homies. You have enemies on the rooftop. Doesn't even see it. Don't, and I know it's an AI, but he is actively shooting Stumpy. Or he shot him once. So if you're having trouble, you know, suppressing enemies that are AI, you're probably having a lot of trouble suppressing enemies that are real. Good job following the live ping through the smoke. Unfortunately, again, with the BASP, the range just isn't there for that gun. Not too surprised. Good job on the enemy throwing a smoke and rotating away. Uh, is this a nuke skin squad? I can never tell if it's a nuke skin or if it's the guy with the red face mask. A fake nuke skin. Now oh, we've got destroyer, do not resurrect, thieves in winter. And dude, destroyer's already got five kills. And here we are on to do this. Now you gotta be careful doing strongholds and black sites, especially black sites, especially this one. I think all black sites are hard, but this one and the one that's all the way south of the map by the uh, island, they're the two hardest. You're gonna have a lot of AI flanking you from a lot of directions while you're trying to fight the jug. On top of that, you're probably gonna get third party from other squads. But they're working it together, they're playing it together. Every time we spectate teams, they're usually just funneling one at a time. And they just get picked off by the AI and the and the jug. But thankfully, these guys are a lot more competent than what we normally spectate. So we're probably in for a treat. But guys, hopefully you're having a great day. If you haven't already, uh, make sure you drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 400 likes, boys. Also, let me know in the comments section below. Are you guys playing ranked? Are you enjoying it or not? And if you are playing it, whether you're enjoying it or not, what rank did you guys have? Have you guys gotten to so far? Okay, let's go ahead and sit down and spectate the greatness at work. Now, it's very rare that we spectate good teams. We spectate good players a lot, but when it comes to quads, it's a rare commodity just because most people play with randoms. I don't think that's the case here just because how they're working together, they're staying together, they're rolling together. They're not stacked on top of each other's butts, but they are close enough to each other to help them out should they get into some combat. And look at the money situation too. So many people sleep on black sites. Now, you know, me and my squads, when we're playing ranked, it's a different story, right? Ranked black sites do, do what you need to do to get your SR. When it comes to pubs, when we do play pubs, nobody does them. No one does black sites, no one does strongholds. It's wild. Money is abundant, which makes streaks abundant, which makes UAVs abundant, which makes self res and durable gas masks and buybacks and loadies and the list goes on. I mean, dude, we're buying, we're spending the money like we don't know what to do with it. And we still are sitting on them with $60,000. And you know, every, and, and, and I mention this almost every video because it kind of it kind of just hurts my feelings, man. Someone, someone almost every video is like, "Savage, duh, this is common, bro, duh." But it, it ain't duh because nobody does correct shit. Yo, are there three most wanted bounties? All right, there goes one. I love the advanced UAV, and again, when you have money like this, why not, dude? Why not? 
We bought, we threw up three UAVs. We got an advance from the jug, which they might have used, or they're not, they haven't yet, but they might use, they might not. But again, they can do whatever they want because we do have a shit ton of money. Look, I think a lot of people, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, do you guys think your biggest issue is gunplay? If the answer is yes, here's how to fix that right now. Play with a team, whether they're good or not. Play with a team that you like, that you vibe with, and just stay with them and move around like this. Notice these guys aren't sitting in buildings. Don't mind the slide canceling. These guys aren't sitting in buildings. These guys aren't camped up. They're rotating. Or okay, come on, bro. You're killing me. They're rotating around. They're playing together. They're staying together. And what this does for all players, not just sweats and goats, but even, even for the rookiest of you out there, when there's four of you, the chance of you getting picked off and dying is, de is decreased greatly. And the less you guys die, the more reps you get in. The longer you're alive, the more you get to practice your gunplay, your movement, practicing terrain, things like that. Wolfpack, if you guys want to accelerate your gameplay to the next level, make sure you guys check out AIM Controllers. With AIM Controllers, it's a lifetime warranty on all modded parts. And my favorite part, the PS5 controller actually comes with digital triggers standard. Not only does the PlayStation 5 come with digital triggers, but with a flip of the button, you guys can get normal triggers also. The benefit to digital triggers is the faster response time, so you guys don't have that long throw. The faster that click gets recognized, the faster those shots get off. Click the link in the description below. Use code SAVS at checkout for a massive discount. But let's dive back into the video. I really implore you guys to find a team, find a squad, and roll with them. We are reviving our Looking for Groups page in our Discord. There's 14,000 members in that Discord. So make sure you guys join the Discord community. It's free, doesn't do anything for me. I'm not partnered or anything. Just doing it for you guys. Use the Looking for Groups page to find yourself some teammates you can play with. A lot of people have found lifelong friends in that Discord. Um, so guys, make sure y'all check that out. Now look at the most wanted right here, bro. Most wanted is a great tool, fantastic tool. But in quads, you know, I think I'd rather roll around and get four grand and buy back a squad mate than just get a most wanted and sit in a building. If you have an armored car, that's one thing. If you have a helicopter, that's another thing. But if you don't have those two th those two items and you don't have a building that you can easily access that has a great high ground, great positioning, don't get the most wanted bounties. This most wanted is aggressive as shit. Because he's aggressive, I'm going to assume he's not by himself. He might be. He might just be wild like that, but he could have a squad on him. A lot of people pick up the most wanted just to bat, just to a uh, bait. There's one. It's not the most wanted. We got the guy to our left hand side. Let's see what happens. He peeks up. Ooh, good shit. And just like that, he's able to get it. Now the enemy had the most wanted, and he had a chopper. So I don't know why he didn't just stay in the chopper. Got to respect him for taking the ego chow, but at the same time, kind of dumb. But yeah, guys, look, just 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 rotate. There's a lot of buildings here. I don't know if they've been looted or not. I can't really tell, but there's a lot of buildings. Just take that vehicle that was next to the gas station. Go find four grand and buy your homie back. Don't just, I think, you know, in Wars than one, most ones were awesome and they're still good. I'm not saying don't grab them, but in situations like that, dude, just get four grand and get another homie back. And then if you do like, we can't find any more money, then maybe get it. But at least you got a homie with you to kind of play with, you know? I think a lot of people in their minds give up. They're like, I'm solo quad, I can't do it. Don't give up, man. Again, certain situations, yeah, you'll have to do it. But that right there was too soon, too early. Just, just believe in yourself. Uh, all right, but here we are off. And again, look at the money situation. Another reason to play for kills too is this right here. The money is abundant. The more kills you get, the easier the game becomes. Essentially, yes, you might put yourself in a rough spot. Yes, playing for kills will ooh, might get you killed from time to time. But if you can get a good game going on, man, you're vibing, you end up in situations like this where y'all can do whatever the hell you want, bro. We've got a three man squad in this warehouse. Now, these buildings here we're about to push are not the easiest. And as much as an aggressive player as I am, it's about a 50 50 chance I push this. However, if you do push this building, most of the time you will lose. 
this blue building that is marked green is a very, very rough building to push. So I'm just recommending don't fucking do it. Surprisingly, the enemies came out. I like the fact that Resurrect broke off and he's going to rotate to the left-hand side. Again, very smart team, very reactive. Their comms are on point. I'm assuming Thieves told them the dude was behind them. That's why I whipped it around. We saw the molly come out. Unfortunately, we couldn't whip it back. But again, because they're playing together and they're not on top of each other's ass, when one gets knocked, they don't all get knocked. But when one gets knocked, this team, as close as they are, are able to follow through and finish the fight. I'm shocked and proud that the enemies in here actually left to contest, to contest this team. As I was saying, this building is a hard building to push. Very hard. Even even with drill charges and things like that, it's a very hard building to contest. The fact the enemies kind of came out made it a lot easier on us. And I, I can't hate the enemies for that. I'm proud of them for trying their best to fight the situation instead of staying camped up, watching the staircase. Also, pay attention to zip lines. This doesn't really have anything to do with this situation here. But, you know, a lot of times, if you're in a bad spot, just take the zip. So many people are afraid to go to it because they think it's going to be being baited. Most of the time, I don't, I don't think I've ever been killed at the zip because someone was just camping it. Loadouts, yeah. Buy stations for sure. Oh, also, the loadout change has been huge. I, I don't, I don't know if I've been camped on a loadout since. I might have a few times, probably, but I mean, we went from being camped on every loadout to I can count on one hand since the update how many times I've been camped on. It's a huge W there from uh, Ravensoft for changing that. All right, when you have an armored car, I would not mind to see us take the armored car. It's a, it's a rough rotation because we got to cross the street, cross railroad tracks, and go up a hill. There's going to be people in the compound, and you see it right now. just popped up on the mini-map with, uh, with the most wanted bounty. So, yeah, take the vehicle for sure. All right, winners marking people in a building. And look, I'm all for playing aggressive, and they might play aggressive. But if you guys are not comfortable with playing aggressive, get position. It's a smarter move. Playing aggressive is fun, but if you want to play smarter, not harder, get position. All right, look, whenever someone's... Okay, there we go. Never mind. Whenever you have a driver, make sure you're marking where it needs to go. I don't recommend blue at all. Again, low ground. If you watched the video yesterday, it's a kill box. You don't want to be in that kill box at all. I'd, try, I, I'd be trying to work the edge of the red basically center i'm not really a fan of the fact that it's jumping out of the vehicle again another situation this is kind of like blue it's a little bit of a kill box these guys seem like they're competent the enemies i'm talking about Again, comms going out. I'm assuming we got pings going out, so we instantly know where people are at. Great diversion. Now, it worked out, but again, I think I would have taken the vehicle a little bit safer position. You don't want to park a vehicle on the low ground and try to push in the high ground. It's a hard feat. They did it, but they, I mean, they're good players. They got it accomplished, but if you guys are not as good as this team, make sure you're not doing shit like that. It wasn't a good move, no matter how good you are. So unfortunately, Gulag happened. It seems like it happens every game, but here we are fighting for our lives in this hill or in this mountain. And they're doing a decent job. Thieves is down, instantly gets executed, but Resurrect's there to finish it up. And it's funny that Resurrect was right next to Thieves and instead of the enemy trying to win his life or win the fight, he goes for the execute because it's easier. And he wants his KD to be so damn good that his, all of his best friends want to play with him. And he can just flex it on Facebook saying, look at me, man, I got, I got a good KD now. When in reality, you'd probably be a lot better off. Try to play for the fight. Good job grabbing that jury. We have smokes. I'd smoke my teammate out and go for the res. Our teammate... This is wild. Our dude's got it. He's got it under control. All we have to do is throw the smoke out. We can get the res off and we can get the buy back as well. Throw another smoke at the buy as well. These smokes do not last long and instantly go with your move. Oh, you're ballsy, ballsy son of a bitch. That's mostly the reason why. I wasn't worried about the left-hand side because yellow's got that on lock. I was more worried about the right. Luckily, they were a little bit too delayed. The 
another advance going up and again the money just saving them not just beginning or middle game but the entire game it's weird how that works right weird now of course doing black sites i know it's not everyone it's not going to be good and easy for everybody but i encourage you guys to at least attempt it i think a lot of players don't give themselves enough credit you guys right you're you're better than you think you are you just have to put yourself in the position to prove it to yourself if I'm having a day where I'm not feeling confident in my gameplay, I'm a suck, regardless. But if I'm feeling on fire and locked yeah, in, in. I'm good. And that goes with everybody. Recon in my location. Another UAV going up. We've got 14 enemies left. We've got five, six, seven, eight marks. My spectating DMZ. Yeah, I haven't seen this chopper in a normal match in forever, but good job on them taking this thing out as fast as possible. Good flares, gonna protect you from the bullets. Love that. Now, hopefully someone on our team has the munitions. I'm not gonna slay them for not having one because I mean, how the hell do you predict this bullshit? But I will compliment them for having one. Love that, dude. This team is with it, man. I hope they win. Okay, how many kills they have? Their teamwork is just unparalleled. Guy to the left as well. You saw him running. We also have people spamming RPGs from the helicopter. Special place in hell for them? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So right now someone's like, Savage, I love you. Stop. It was a joke. Now we need to win this fight, but at the same time, we need to be putting shots on this helicopter too, dude. If it's going to be a very hard thing to do is to shoot this thing down. It's going to be very hard. They're doing, a, they're doing a, the best job they can at balancing this vehicle with the helicopter a lot of shit going on right now we've got one team trying to splat us one team trying to play the air this is such a clusterfuck of ass dude i'm excuse my french but fuck i don't understand why an emp to just go off in game and stop this bullshit that's very easy to do just implement one sorry guys no vehicles in the games that seems like a fair thing to me sorry billy robinson and, and, and tamra can't get their wins but and this game is a battle route and he's reward skill. But guess what? Talking about skill, they got to jump and get... Oh, man. Oh, no. Little Billy, little Timmy. They're going to die. Get to the new safe zone. Oh, this makes me happy. Oh, this makes me so happy. Guys, I know it got toxic at the end, but I, I don't know. I, I I know Savage is part of the game. I get it, but I, I don't think it should be. You know, battle royale is about, is about playing and getting better. And look, the helicopter strat's fine. And people do that. I've done it before. Not, not like once. But I understand it. I get it. And you know what? If you're goaded, bro, go with your move. Keep on your win streaks. It is what it is, dude. Do what you have to do to win your games. But, you know, those guys there clearly had no ability to shoot because they had the high ground. They only downed one of us or one of the guys we were spectating. It was just a very bad play on their part. Guys, look, do whatever strat you think is working for you. But if you guys can't shoot the broad side of a barn, please do not try the helicopter strat because when you have to jump out of it, you're going to die without being able to shoot anybody. But I really hope you enjoyed the commentary of this of this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. 40 something percent of you guys are not subscribed. Make sure you leave a like on it as well. And y'all come join me over on Kick. Check out the live streams. We'll be breaking down viewer submissions. We'll be breaking down random games. And I'll also be playing ranked. So if you guys are in for that, make sure you show up. But until next time, man, y'all have a good one. And good luck in Warzone.